Take it easy, tough guy. It's a tough day when the click go clock and all the people rally round like a cannabis cop. It's a tough day you got cock in mouth up in your crib, your car, your job, your homie's house. It's a tough day. Sunny side up, giving thanks every day. Bless everything in a positive way. Tim, stop masturbating and open up. Preferably in that order. It's time sensitive. And I really have to pee, which also is time sensitive. Tim, I know you're depressed about your father, man, but I have important info about the documents you forwarded me. Tim. Your father left you the Synodome. The transaction never... The Synodome? My dad never sold the Synodome? Oh, God, you smell rancid. Hello to you too, Blake. Hey, pal. Look, I'll, I'll be honest with you, the theater is not in great condition. Um, dilapidated, some would say. Uh, the employees there are very stupid. So there's yeah. that. Tim. This is one of my clients. Give me Tim. a second. Yeah. Tim, yo, what the fuck, dude? This shit is so whack. I'm sorry. It's actually oregano. I was really fucked up and ordered pizza that day. You know what? It actually got me kind of high. Really? No, dude, it sucks. OK, look, I've got a really good sativa over here. Try it. I promise you'll like it here. Hey, I'm Blake. I'm studying to be a lawyer. Blake, thank you for coming by, and it's really nice to see you again. It really is. You know there's a carb here, right? Oh, is that is? why you're... Yeah, that's probably why you're not getting anything. Uh... If you don't take this inheritance seriously, it could cost you money. Money? Blake, I don't have any money. The illegal pot business sure isn't what it used to be. I make no money doing that. Everybody nowadays has their fancy weed cards and is doing it legally. Present company excluded. Let me run it with you. Okay? I'm not gonna run a movie theater. That's insane. You could earn an honest living, and I... And I could stop working for Satan. Do you understand the woman I work for? She brings her four cats to work every day. Four filthy pussycats to a law office, where I'm currently working, by the way. Blake, I have finally accepted the fact that I am a failure and that dope is my true calling. What would your dad want you to do, man? <sighs> Has anyone seen my dog? Max! Just at least go look at it with me. <coughs> Ugh, this weed sucks my dick. And if you ever want to go to lunch, I would love it, or maybe I could... Are you on Tinder? I haven't been here in years. This'll probably be cool. Yeah, man, it's gonna be nostalgic for both of us. Oh, are you kidding? She wants me to cut her cat's nails. I'm a paralegal, not a pair of bitches. Ugh. Party on, Wayne. Party on, Garth. This is bigger than your mobile home. How bad could it have gotten? It's gonna be, gonna be fine in there. Goody, so I get to report to you guys now. All right, uh, popcorn machines over here. Uh, screening rooms are in there. Can I smoke a cigarette now? Well, I, uh, pardon me, is uh, anybody working your ticket booth? Uh, I'm just looking for two tickets for the Snooki documentary. Are you blind? No, no, Are no, you blind? No, I was Do you just not see I'm having a conversation right here? Get oh, the I'm fuck out of here. People, right? It happens all the time. For the movie theater, how would that be a good thing? 
Are you the only manager? Yes, I'm the assistant manager. So there is another manager? Did you not hear me? I'm the only assistant manager. Well, I just figured that you said assistant, so that would mean there's someone you're assisting. I don't think it's the fight to pick Tim. She's about to snap. She's clearly about to snap. You're doing great. Is there any other employees we could meet her? That dude had some weird looking junk. That's the ladies' room. Oh, yeah. Wait, am I still tripping, or are you guys really here? All right, let's go to the break room. Anyway, I'm Derek. I just don't understand why he left me, Georgie. I mean, I gave him everything. He paid for everything. But, you know, I, I was always there. I know. You are very generous. He's lucky I sold my gun. That there's adorable Georgie. <laughs> Look at him. Look at him. Is he not the most adorable, scrunchy, fuzzy, round, just, just Ewok munchkin of a little Mexican oompa loompa that you want to squeeze, you want to squeeze so hard that his head pops like a zit? You know, isn't he just mm, adorable? She actually is adorable. Precious, really. And the hot one there? That's Elizabeth. She has a little bit of a colored past. Yeah, I like it in here. I'm glad I'm back. Oh, you gonna put me in the shoe? Put me in the shoe. Do it. I dare you. Elizabeth. Babe. How many times have I told you, baby? Don't let that man push you around. Right? Right, I told you. You gotta let a real woman show you how to be properly loved. Just massage those milky thighs and lick those nipples. Lick, lick, lick those nipples and tweak those nipples. And you gotta, you gotta, we're like two scissors uniting in ecstasy. Yeah, yeah. Barbara! Oh, 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 oh. yeah. Why don't you take that cigarette break now? Yeah, that's a, that's a strong idea. It's probably the move. Oh, Just yeah. Quick oh. cigarette, take a yeah, five, sure. take a five okay. minute cigarette break. Cold shower, too, if you want. Hola, mi nombre es Georgie. Hola, Georgie. Mi nombre es Tim. Hola, Tim. Hola. Hola, mi nombre es Blake. Hola. 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 One more fucking person says hola. I'm gonna go fucking loco. Tim, right I don't think this is the battle. I am, Tim. Hello. I think you guys work here. I'm trying to buy a ticket. Can't you see this is the employee break room? Hey, Liz. You look beautiful. Ah! Yeah, the customers. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> We're having an issue with customer service here. Yeah! <laughs> Sorry, I left my jacket in the microwave. Get out! Can we get like a break? I need to experience some air. We're outside. Huh. What does he do here? I'll go check on our hot little princess. Holy shit. What is that? What, the super mega theater multiplex across the street? Yes, the super mega theater multiplex directly across the street. It says it has 36 screens. Yeah, the super mega theater multiplex has 4D and virtual surround sound. The super mega theater multiplex? Oh my gosh, that's where we all go to see our movies. It opened last year. Awesome, this should be great for business. Hey, um, your dad was a really cool guy. I'm sorry he's dead. Thank you, Kenny. Yes, he was. The old man said you were filmmakers. Uh, we were, and Blake here was actually my producer. And Tim was the director. So what was it about? It was a comedy that was based in truth with subtle characterizations. What's the name of it? Ninjas and Hot Chicks. Both subject matters were trending on Twitter at the time. I, I did make the point that trending topics don't per se There There we go. Here we go. I knew it. He blames me. You blame me. Trending topics, and I told you this 50,000 times, last like one day. 
Movies take like a decade to get made. And you made yourself the lead, and you're not an actor. Hey, you wanted to cast Shia LaBeouf. Shia okay? LaBeouf? The guy is known for being problematic. Listen to his name. The guy has got a great name, Shia LaBeouf. It sounds like a movie Whatever. Star. You cut half the budget. I had to make myself believe. We didn't have any money. Cut half the budget because we only had half the money. We cut craft services. We didn't have any food. We couldn't feed the ninjas. They had no energy. Ninjas with no energy is not intimidating. No, they weren't intimidating because you cast yellow belts. You know how weak Do you know how hard it is to get the is? yellow belts? You know how yellow belts are? Yellow belts are like, like, like this. Like this. You They're shouldn't like touch. Off a yellow belt. My sister kicks harder than a yellow belt. Oh yeah? Oh yeah? yeah. Oh yeah? Did yeah. she kick this hard? Huh? What do you mean? That's not even a kick. It's like a weak slap. Huh? Okay, what? All right, all right. All right. All right. All right. Blame me. Hold on. Hold on. Oh yeah? How do you like that? How do you like that? Huh? 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 Ow! 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 Okay. Wait. Seriously, stop. Oh, what the no. hell is going on? We're just we're doing kind of like a creative meeting, freeform brainstorm. Fucking idiots. No, it's just dildos. I gotta get into yoga. Maybe this spray painter was right. This place should be called Cinedopes. You did say weed was your true calling, right? Cinedope. I think I just got an idea. Burn the place down and collect the insurance money? What if we sold pot here? Next week on Synodo. Kurt Bowman. Yeah. You know, I couldn't believe it when I found out you were running this place now. I run the Megaplex across the street. We are gonna become the best damn independent movie theater that this neighborhood has ever seen. Imagine if you could go to a movie theater and toke up in a room right before you walk in to see the thing. It's gonna take at least three weeks to go through my proper legal, you know, work around contacts. This is legal. Ish. Hi, I'm Ben Glebe. I play Blake, who is studying to be a lawyer. Has that been made clear yet? Please subscribe to our web series by clicking subscribe right below. Also on the left, make sure you click the evil bong to watch any of our full episodes. And down at the very bottom, click to watch behind the scenes videos, because we're real people too, okay? We're not just characters, damn it. Hi, I'm Ben Glebe. I play Blake. I'm studying to be a lawyer. Uh, please make sure you subscribe by clicking subscribe right below where my voice is. You can picture where my voice is. Hello, I'm Brian Drolet, and I play Tim. Thank you so much for watching. Please click subscribe to subscribe.